Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here on the Saints Gaming Day Twitch channel. Of course, your home for the St. Clair Saints varsity sports team as we have another fantastic evening of Rocket League up ahead of us here, this time in the CCA Summer Series. My name is Dan Banner, also known as Mr. Dan, who's going to be your host and producer for tonight's event as we have the University of Virginia up against the St. Clair Saints Gold Squad. Now, University of Virginia... They just had a heartbreaker on the College Carball stream. They just had a match just before this one here up against Georgia Tech. They won game one, but then lost two straight. Brought it back for game four to bring it into a game five scenario. And unfortunately, they dropped the ball, well, essentially literally there, with the GT Tech squad. So unfortunately for Virginia... Still winless here in the CCA, but it's not that they're a bad team. They're a very good squad, and we'll take a look at the standings right here in the CCA momentarily just to kind of show the kind of stuff they're going for. But they're definitely on, on point for the majority of that match. It was unfortunate they couldn't get it in Game 5 as we do quickly take a look at these standings. This was, of course, prior to tonight's action. So as we see down at the bottom there, University of Virginia, they are now 0 and what will be 0 and 3, itching to try and get that first win and looking to try and maybe snag it here at the hands of the St. Clair Saints as uh, the St. Clair Gold Squad, of course, off a very solid win yesterday. Who did we play? We played Sioux College yesterday, and I think we kind of took the College Carball uh, stream by surprise a little bit they were expecting that matchup to be much closer than it was but in true on close on or close on paper style as i always curse myself in saying whenever we think it's going to be a close one it ends up being a st Clair saints 3-0 unless i try to uh manipulate the saying and then all of a sudden it becomes a reverse 3 -0, or not a reverse 3-0 but it's a 3-0 against us so i try not to mess around with the <laughs> the superstition so to speak here on the cast much anymore but university of virginia of course going to be itching for that first victory as you can hear in the background the buzzer is getting underway here summoning the players to the field right around the corner just about to be getting into the game i do believe it'll be your st Clair saints on the blue side and it'll be the side, or on the orange side rather, we will have the University of Virginia matching up their local ever so slightly. Nicely done in that regard. Meanwhile, on the side of the University of Virginia, as we do hop into game right here, right now. Let's cut that real quick, as we do have on the side of University of Virginia, we have Justin Cap, we have Andrew and Freeze. Meanwhile, your hometown squad here for the St. Clair Saints, we have Jay, we have Comp, and we have Spooze. We're about to get, of course, underway right here, right now. A little bit of a back and forth in the Saints zone to start things off here. Virginia trying to get a nice quick one, but it's sure enough going to be Jay answering with a very quick and a rather simplified play as uh, Virginia just kind of caught themselves a little bit over aggressive and Jay is going to absolutely punish that every single time and Saints are going to start off in the lead nice and quick to this one. Compusy taking to the skies. Freeze is there for backup. He's going to get demoed for his troubles. Justin does get smoked as well. Ball kind of stuck in the corner. Spoods looking for a piece of it. Not quite going to find it, however. Does let Justin Cap look to make the play. Comp saving off the crossbar. We go down to the other side here. Spoods trying to get it out. Freeze going to shut it down in its tracks. So we now ride along here with Spoods for just a second. Tries to get a play going with Justin Cap. Going to keep it out of the zone. Pass down. Andrew's shot does end up going wide. So no real threat here to the St. Clair lineup as of yet. No major shot. Well, one solid shot, rather, on the side of Virginia, but nothing else after that. Spoods was up in the skies looking for a final touch, but it didn't quite get it as he wanted. Jay looking to make the pass. Going to be pushed aside by Freeze, but it does go right to Comp. Comp looking to make the play for himself, but sure enough, right off the corner of the post. Jay with the rebound, but Justin Cap going to shut that down for at least a second. Overall, maybe not as one-sided as I was expecting, looking at these, these standings as of the way they have been so far in this season, but still extremely early, close to tell. Virginia's finding themselves a couple of opportunities here and there. 
not been able to quite capitalize on. There's the pass to Freeze. We see Freeze up in the sky looking for an opportunity. He does get it, but Jay is going to stop that in its tracks. See another opportunity here. Spoo's going to intercept the passing, so that shot did not come off cleanly, which means it's going to go right on over to Jay, who tries to push it forward. Sure enough, interfered with by Justin Cap. Justin off to Andrew, looking for Virginia's first goal still here, but just about a little bit more than halfway to go here in this first game of this best of five series. Jay bouncing it off the wall. That would have been a centering pass, but Virginia not going to let that slide. The freeze shot on target, but holy smokes, Boots coming in flying to make that save. Comp now, he might have himself an open neg. It's freeze was too busy demoing Jay, but Justin Cap was right there to make the save. He'll do so once again here, trying to keep Virginia within one. Spoods rebound, a little bit of an awkward angle, not quite going to get it towards the net. Bounces right over Comp, unfortunately, so it's going to force Jay to pass on over to Spoods. Right back down, Jay tries to tee it up there for Comp, but unfortunately for the Saints, not quite going to capitalize on it as they look to try and maybe find themselves a little bit of insurance here on this first goal, as Virginia has been keeping it relatively competitive here in this matchup so far. Bounce up to Comp. Comp passes to the center. That's where Spoods is, but shot does not quite find its mark. Justin going to get a clearing opportunity. We see Comp right back there as well. So here we go. Ping pong battle here in the midfield until Spoods just shuts that down finally. Until Freeze picks it up. We do see Comp looking for the pass. Unfortunately for him, going to be completely intercepted by Justin. Justin making the pass. Looking for the play. Not quite going to do it. Slow ball through the crease. Going to be stopped by Jay as it gets all the way down to the Virginia squad once again as we have about a minute 30 left to go here in this first game. Comp drops it down. Spoos looks for the shot. Andrew going to be right there ready to make the save. Saints still have the pressure, however, for at least a little bit longer. Spoos around that striking area. Had control for at least a second, but it did get sent into the St. Clair zone. Freeze, centering pass. Could somebody finish it? That's a bit of an awkward one. And Justin Cap is going to be right there to finalize that one. Beautifully done there. Freeze, right off the backboard. A bit of an awkward one. You can see Comp, the only thing he could do was a bicycle kick. And unfortunately, he did not get as much of that as he would have wanted. So that was still a loose ball in the crease. And the University of Virginia going to tie this up with one minute left. An extremely close one to start things off here in this series tonight. Comp going to find himself a demo. We do see the Saints not being afraid to take the car if necessary. The ball can wait. Just demo it off. Try to loosen up the defense a little bit. Find your opportunity to strike. They've done it versus multiple teams across multiple leagues. So it's the style that we definitely know they like to do. Meanwhile, uh, Virginia, very straightforward play style as we see Andrew looking to make the play. Justin Cap rebound, going to hit the crossbar. Freeze, though, is going to find the go-ahead goal here for the University of Virginia. Everybody on side of Virginia going to get a piece of that one. Andrew to Justin Cap to Freeze, and that is going to be the one goal lead that they need to possibly take the lead here in this series. 30 seconds left, though, and we know the Saints can be a little bit scary once they are put into the hot seat. And we'll have to see if Virginia will get away with this one as Freeze. He's going to get the aggressive play up against the Saints instead. So beautifully done there. As that shot probably would have been on target. And Justin Cap is going to find the insurance. That demo completely destroyed the Saints' plans in that last engagement. So beautifully done there from Virginia. And nicely done from Justin Cap to make sure that that went into the net. Maybe not just crushing it and sending it all the way into the side. But controlling that ball and making sure that it would just tuck its way under the crossbar like that. So Virginia, they are hungry after that loss to Georgia Tech. That being said, hang on a minute. Spoods coming in clutch after a clearing gone wrong. Comp sent it uh, down to him. And we see Andrew, he got a piece of it, but unfortunately could not get it past Spoods. Saints within one. This is still doable. We'll have to see. Only 11 seconds on the clock here for the Saints to try and make it happen. The sense of urgency is definitely there. Nice punt actually there from Freeze. 
The pinch, though, is going to send a wild ball very high up to the sky as it killed the clock. But we know the Saints love the skies. Let's see if they can make a play happen. Backboard pass, but that is way too far away. St. Clair going to drop this one as University of Virginia take game number one very similarly to the last series that we did see on the College Cardball channel. It's going to be Justin Caps finding himself one goal or two goals and an assist, multiple saves as well. Freeze getting the other one. And of course, your goals for the Saints side of things. That went to Jay and Spoods with Comp getting both assists on the plays. All right, so Virginia coming out swinging. This is what we like to see, and it just goes to show just because they are at the bottom of the standings does not mean that this team is a pushover. At the end of the day, if they would have had to come through the exact same qualifying process that our Saints did, of course, through either the East qualifiers. So they fought their way through that tournament. They're here. They may have had themselves a bit of a rough start. Which, granted, I'm actually going to take a look and see the other time teams they played because we could very well be in a situation where Virginia played some of the tougher teams in the league first. I'll have to see momentarily because this does not seem like a team that should be at the bottom of the barrel here. And sure enough, they lost 3-0 to Akron and Northwood. Okay, so they lost to, like, the top three, two of the top three teams right now in this division, so... Definitely cannot be sour about that one. And this is a strong team, and it is going to be much closer than I expected. Obviously, you can tell as I stumble over everything, I'm a little bit excited about this, to be fair. So we have game number two right away here. Let's see if the Saints can fight on back as we see the ball going into the Sinclair zone right off the start. Andrew tried to make the play, wasn't quite going to find it at least this time. Justin looking for the center rank pass but it went a little bit high Spoot's going to demo him out of sight but Andrew is still there alongside Freeze to maybe find an opportunity if the ball does go stray Jay going to try and get a play nice little stop there from Justin Cap to make his way back from the demo and force the Saints to kind of scramble a little bit into their own zone nice double touch and holy smokes Justin beautifully done going to be basically setting this up for himself after freeze just gives it to him sends it off backboard to himself and he just tucks that in right into the right hand side beautiful start for the university of virginia here in game number two with that being justin cap from freeze and virginia's right back on the attack once again justin looking to make another shot on target does get pushed aside into the corner though does have Freeze and Andrew here to back him up. Comp looking to try and carry this out. Does get past Andrew, but it's a bit of a loose one. Drop passes, Spoods. The demo, there's no goalie, but can the Saints capitalize? They are barely, by the skin of their teeth, going to get that goal. As there was somebody just on the line, I think. A bit of a loose ball. Jay gets the piece of it. And Justin, he went for the save, but could not get the, com or the full... Uh, full contact that he was looking for and that is going to be the tying goal so two goals within a minute we might have ourselves a high scoring game if this keeps on up here for game number two back into the swing of things here as we now go Minute and a half into this one, we see Spoots with a shot, saved by Freeze, redirect by Jay, and he is going to get the go-ahead goal. Beautifully set up by Spoots to get this one right in the position. Freeze makes that initial save, but basically, the first shot wasn't the threat. The second one was beautifully done for the Saints to get that. And off we go again. Virginia going to be forced to try and make an answer and make a answer relatively quickly here as we see Spoods battling along the center. Freeze now going to send it right on back. Comp flying through the sky is not going to get as much of a hit on that as he was looking for. Back and forth again through the neutral zone, just bouncing all over the place here. Comp going to pick this one up for just a moment. Justin looking for the shot, not going to be the case. Andrew now in the Virginia zone trying to stop Comp, but Comp is going to at least get this through the crease. But a good little pinch there coming out from Virginia, I believe. Sends it all the way back to the center, but Spoots does collect it. Freeze does beat out a Saints player in that one. Jay does get stopped with a Comp. Shot on target. Andrew pushes it aside at the last moment. Beautiful save on his regard. But now all the way back into the Saints zone, looking for the tying goal to keep themselves in possibly the lead of this series if they can keep this up. 
However, Saints bring it right back into the Virginia zone. Justin going to try and carry it out. Comp says, no, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And that's a pass. But it is interfered with by Andrew. And makes the preemptive save. So the shot didn't even come out here from the side of the Saints. Now Saints are forced to deal with it in their own zone. Sent all the way back. And holy smokes, that looked completely harmless at first. But Spoods just took that as a pass for himself. That pinch from Jay was actually sick. It was all the way around. So much speed on that pass. And Spoods just had to tap it right on in there. That caught me by surprise. That caught probably the University of Virginia by surprise. Beautifully done there from Jay and Spoods to find the Saints insurance goal here in this one. But as we saw in game number one, just because it's a two-goal lead does not mean that cannot come back especially with two minutes left to go. So plenty of time in game. Comp, though, is going to find himself a goal here. What on earth was that? Jay, off on the side of things. I end up bouncing it off of uh, Justin Cap, who had a bit of a clearing gone wrong. And with the double commit, both players, unfortunately, are unable to get that out of the crease and out of the net. So Saints find themselves in a three-goal lead now. And maybe... It could have been the case where Virginia, after playing Georgia Tech, were already warmed up competitively. Meanwhile, the Saints might have been a little bit colder, but I do believe that they have scrimmages with other teams before their matches. So that theory could be completely busted, but a possibility as we see Jay centering past the comp textbook play here from the Saints to get themselves a four goal lead. Jay is just absolutely all over the place here in this game. Even when he's on the other side of the field in the Saints zone, he's just finding passes that seem to make it work. And Comp going to find himself the back of the net once again. And Saints are looking to kind of run away here with game number two. Tie the series back up and just essentially force game three to just start another best of three of sorts. Off the face off, we're kind of stuck in the Virginia zone for at least a second. Jay, once again, centering pass, going to be collected by Freeze, but then sent over to Spoods. Justin Cap now with the bit of interference. Jay up in the sky by himself. Actually, no, not by himself at all. Comp is there as well. Can Jay find himself on the scoreboard? He is, in fact, going to find himself on the scoreboard for a hat trick in this second game. Comp off the board, off the post, and right to Jay. Jay, an absolute monster here in game number two here for St. Clair. Everybody on the Saints are absolutely doing fantastic. But in regards to the hat trick, Jay showing off a little bit here for you all tonight. If Virginia want any chance of getting themselves back into this game, they essentially need a goal, and they need a goal now, and then another one after that, and back to back to back. But the amount of difficulty that would be would be absolutely astronomical. As we see Jay <laughs> right from Spoods again, and there we go. Jay pops it up. Spoods is already in the corner. Beautiful pass. Knocked down. Awkward angle pass as well, and that just means that Jay gets to tuck it in for his fourth goal of this game, bringing this one to a massive 7-1. And that is one way to do it. Never mind the ball. Let's just go for the demo off the start. Why don't we? Shot on target here. This is a close one for Virginia, but it's going to be pushed aside. Comp making yet another huge save in the back line. Justin Cap coming through and Comp the slow play to not actually make contact with the ball, making the Virginia players read obsolete. Now, Saints basically on pure defense mode until they find an opportunity to carry it out for themselves. Dump it into the corner, run back into the side of the field. You don't have to score anymore, and they know that. They're just trying to wind down the clock at this point here, as we do see it's another Saints victory, yet another Saints goal, and sure enough, it is going to be Jay to score that one. And it looks like there will be a very, very quick server reset before we get started into game number three. Fair enough. So Saints going to get themselves on the board nicely here after a very convincing game number two. I'm going to quickly take a brief moment here to just get ready with this next server. So maybe some of the players on their side thinking that uh, they weren't maybe quite up to snuff 
to say the least, in regards to their connection, or just some sort of technical difficulty, of course. Esports sometimes prone to little uh, intricacies to keep things this interesting on the technical side of things, but it should not take very long at all. In fact, it isn't going to take long in the slightest as we hop on in to game for game number three. So we've had two completely different style of games in the last couple of minutes here, with game number one being very, very close, very few goals, very like disciplined game, I would, I would call it. And then we just had game number two, which was an absolute cluster, one-sided mess on the side of St. Clair. So have Saints got the download complete and are all warmed up, or did Virginia just kind of get in their own head a little bit and they're going to come out swinging for game number three? We'll have to find out, as we see so far, 30 seconds in, the Saints kind of back to their old ways here, and that is exactly what I'm talking about. Comp is going to find the goal for game number one after the pass from Jay. Into the corner, Jay is going to bounce this one right off the backboard, and sure enough, Comp's going to beat out Freeze and take the first goal here in this third game. Off the face-off. We see a little bit of a slow play coming out here from Jay. That would have been, like, possibly an axle snapper with the way that he was looking there. That being said, though, Virginia came right back with a scoring opportunity for themselves but could not quite capitalize. They have control once again until Spoods just opts to completely negate that. Gets both of the defenders on the side of Virginia defeated. And now this could be a breakout opportunity here for the side of St. Clair. Jay looking for the pass. Spoods is right there if necessary. Off the side. But Freeze is going to intercept. Tries to pass it up to Justin Cap. Justin, slow ball. Freeze shot on target. Big save by Spoods, though. Rebounds coming in here from Andrew, but it does go wide. Going to allow Jay to bring this one up. Comp is ready and waiting, but it does get stopped by Justin. Andrew taking out of the play for just a second here. No goalie and net. Is it going to be saved? It is on the line. And a huge, remarkable save coming out here from Justin Cap. That was on the line. How that did not go in is beyond me. But beautifully done nonetheless. Keeping this within one. Spoods in the skies of his own zone now. Trying to get past Freeze. But Freeze does get a hold of it. As it popped up in the Saints zone, ran around the midfield area now. Jay, that was actually a tee off there for him. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Very reminiscent to, I believe it was game number two, the first goal in it, where one small misplay where everybody is out of net. And it seems like Jay can just kind of find these things, sense these things, and straight up punish these things. And it gives St. Clair that insurance goal here with three minutes left to go. Virginia is still trying to fight. They don't want a repeat of what just happened to them versus Georgia Tech. But now the way it's been, it's kind of feeling that way. If they are going to get dominated here for game number three. It's not domination level just yet. This is still relatively doable. Still completely doable, to be fair. Now that I think about it, Freeze looking for a slow play. He pushes it forward, but Spoods again with the save. Justin, though, does have it still in the same zone. Comp is going to just clear this thing. Just get it out. Get it out of the crease. Kill some time in the Virginia zone. Freeze to Justin. Justin tries to get a clearing opportunity. Just puts it into the corner of the Saints zone. Does allow Spoods to go up to the skies and beat out. No, Andrew's going to beat him out this time by. Going to force Comp to play from the back. A downtown shot. And again, Comp is going to find his second goal of the game. This time, he's the one able to find the defense out of position and just yeets this thing from the other side of the net, or the other side of the arena, rather. And that is going to be the third goal here. Saints starting to run away with this one. And I'm feeling a little nervous here for Virginia. They started off so well in like, such a strong manner, but they're falling apart, it seems, yet again. And I feel like they must realize this as, of course, they've just had that match with Georgia Tech. They must... He kind of scared, like, no, let's not do this again. I'd hate for this to do this again. We've seen this with other teams in the CCA as well, where, uh, like, something happens, and then all of a sudden, kind of a deja vu moment as we see a huge pinch. What on earth was that pinch? Jay, from the side, puts it into the wall, looks completely harmless, but no, a remarkable angle, remarkable pinch, and that is going to be goal number four. I think that's Jay's second on the game. And holy smokes, where are they finding these angles and that speed? Now 
At this point, Virginia probably just looking for one. It's been a long time since I really called them out for being on the right side of the goal feed. As we see them, of course, kind of stuck in their own zone yet again. Hello, Hattie. Comp going to find his third goal of this game after the pass from Spoods once again. And then Comp giving a nice little pass to himself off the backboard. Finishes it off beautifully. 5-0, St. Clair. Minute 25 still for Virginia to try and make something out of this game. Highly improbable, but you never know. You see Jay once again making the move on forward. Spoods, he's been on the assist side of things for a little while. Looking for maybe his first goal in maybe the last two games, I think. He's been the absolute playmaker. He maybe snuck one there in game number two, now that I think about it. But in this game, anyway, he has been an absolute playmaking monster here on the side of the Saints. You see him set up yet another centering attempt and a loose ball in the center. Comp has all day to try and figure out what he wants to do with this one. He's just going to try and dribble it through the skies. Not going to happen, though. Good denial there from the side of the University of Virginia. Does allow Jay to pick things up, though. Puts it into the corner. Looks for a soft centering pass. Not going to happen, though. Freeze aggressively getting on top of him, at least. See, Jay just keeps it in. Andrew had an opportunity to break out, but just could not get it past Jay. And Jay passed the comp shot on target. Actually goes a little bit wide. Going to be sent aside as we're now down to 20 seconds. And we have ourselves a bit of a slow ball freeze on the side of the University of Virginia. Is finally going to break the drought here and get themselves on the scoreboard. With a little bit of a interesting uh, thread the needle kind of shot to put it into the back of the net there for the side of Virginia. But with 16 seconds left, I do think it is too little, too late here for the University of Virginia. Just a matter of time before this one is completed, and they're going to be kind of put onto a match point. As Saints are going to be up to here in this best of five series. College has to hit the ground one more time, of course, and then... Saints going to take game number three. One more opportunity there from Virginia. Not going to quite get themselves on the board again. Would not have mattered anyway. Comp is the absolute monster, like I was saying before here, with three goals that time by. And it's going to be Comp and Spooz getting themselves two assists as well. Two goals for Jay, as well as one assist. And these guys are not going to be wasting any time this time by. We're going to hop right into game number four right away. And... If there's anything that the University of Virginia want to repeat from that Georgia game, it is taking game number four and bringing it to game five. And they are running out of time here to make or keep themselves in this series. They need to win this one. Otherwise, it is going to be not the earliest night. We've, at least this one for sure is not going to be a 3-0. I want to see University of Virginia fight back. They've had a hard couple of games. Let's see if they can get themselves on the right side of the win column. And they're starting things off strong. Shot on target. Justin Cap is going to find the goal. Big pass from Freeze as well. Does bounce it right into the corner. Justin already ready with that one-timing opportunity. Catches Comp off guard as well. I think that was Jay or, Jay or Spoots was in net. And they could not quite get there. Virginia up one early here in game number four. Off face off in the St. Clair zone. We see Spoots trying to get a play going. Passes it back to Jay. Huge bump, actually. What a play there. Jay's going to find himself the goal. But Spoots, MVP here for just completely clobbering the goaltender. Like I say constantly here on this uh, St. Stream for Rocket League. Goaltender interference is not a penalty. It's actually, of course, recommended. So beautifully done there. My Spoots that just completely eat the goalie out of position. Making that the... Perfect shot there for Jay. Completely uncontested. 1-1 now, as we're still less than a minute into this one. Virginia, of course, at least they fought back. They fight back quickly. Another opportunity, actually. Big clear coming out here from Virginia. It's going to be picked up by Justin Cap, but it's not going to be collected and controlled. So Saints are going to just send this thing right back into the Saints. Or not the Saints, on the Virginia zone. Shot on target. Saved by Justin. Jay passing down front. Comp was there, but it did not get to him. 
Jay could stem out of the situation. Three on two in favor of Virginia, and they're going to try and make a push out of this. Jay, though, off his demolition, going to get right back into the play. In fact, he's going all the way. Uses of every bit of business he has, but now opportunity for Virginia. Pushed aside by Spoods. Basically, the save going to happen. A nice pass coming out here for Virginia, but was a little bit too quick. Slow ball going towards the net of St. Clair, but not going to make it there for the time being. Comp now in the corner of Virginia with Spoods as well. Justin trying to push this thing away from the net, but not quite going to find it. Comp shot on a target, but a huge save actually from Freeze to keep this at a one-goal game. They cannot let the Saints get themselves one more and build momentum to op run away with it because we see once Saints get themselves some momentum the pain train just kind of keeps coming at that point goal after goal with no real good shot opportunities for you you do see Saints trying to push it forward once again comp has it for himself off the roof bounces it again Jay is there for a little interference if necessary comp's just gonna do it by himself beautifully done by comp all the way from the midfield zone just takes to the skies and just gets around everybody. Andrew with a solid attempt, but could not get a bumper on it. Saints take the lead here in game number four with just under three minutes left to go. And they, or their psyche, they need to answer quickly. So right now they're just kind of flying through the skies or hitting the ball, sure, but I don't see any sort of intent behind these hits right now. Just kind of hitting it just for the sake of hitting it. Not ball chasing, but it just, when they do hit it, it doesn't seem like it has a purpose right now. It's not a direct pass. It's just just there. Bouncing pass coming out here from Comp to Jay, but Jay does not quite get all of it. So, going to get sent all the way into the Saints zone. Perfect opportunity here for Virginia to make a shot. Big shot. And Andrew, this is exactly what they needed here at University of Virginia is right where they need to be. Comp, the clearing attempt again. We've seen this time and time again this season where trying to clear it off the corner just does not quite bounce it the way that uh, each team is really expecting. And it will oftentimes become a bit of a centering pass for the opponent. And Andrew capitalizing on that one big time. Tying this back up at two. Right back into the Virginia zone we go. Comp going to take Freeze out of the picture. He made a huge save earlier to keep this game tied. So taking him out of the defense, as they're putting on the pressure, could have definitely been a huge opportunity. See, it's not quite going to capitalize as of this moment. Never mind. Here comes Comp, and he's going to find his, I believe, his first or second goal here of this game. He just takes it away from Andrew, and he just beats... Oh, no, Justin Cap unfortunately did not quite make contact with the ball, and that left the net wide open, and Comp is going to absolutely punish that. Give the Saints the lead once again here. 3-2 game, two minutes left to go. Oh, and Freeze is getting feisty. This is what I like to see. Comp now in the Virginia zone, sends it through, lost ball in the crease, but Spoots looks for one more shot, and it's not going to happen. Andrew... Not only does he find himself a goal, but he finds himself easily the clutch save to try and keep his team within striking distance here in this one. Bit of a pop fly ball in their own zone now. Saints looking to maybe find themselves one more piece of insurance though. Breeze versus Comp. Comp is going to push this one aside. Justin Cap ready for the pass, but did not happen. Jay, breakaway opportunity, but does not have any boost. Does allow for Virginia to get back just in time. Justin now looking to get past Comp. Huge denial, actually, by Comp. It's going to delay this attack just a little bit. No boost at the moment. They're going to have to go find some real quick. Andrew shot on target, and he's just going to straight up beat him. Beautifully done by Virginia. And for Andrew, I believe he was trying to deal with Jay here. And actually knocked it. Yeah, he tried to deal with Jay. Spoots is probably calling out as well. It looked like he slowed down just in the last seconds. Maybe the try not to collide with Spoots. But unfortunately, there for the Saints, that one's going to go through, and we have ourselves a tie game. Virginia fighting. They don't want to be done just yet, and that could have been the deal breaker right there. This is Jay with the shot on target, and what a bounce. Spoods with the possible game winner if this is the final goal here in the game. We've seen Jay messing around in the crease, and he just brute forces it, forces Freeze to essentially knock it into his own net. What a heartbreaking way that would be there for Virginia if this is how this series ends. But they still have time. They have themselves a bit of a breakaway. It is Andrew, the goal scorer for the squad as of right now, trying to make one more opportunity. They have 30 seconds here to make 
little bit more play. And unfortunately, that demo from Andrew and that demo from Spoods onto Freeze is going to seal the deal. One more hat trick here from Comp. And just one down, two down. Good night, Virginia. Twenty seconds ago here, Virginia needs two extremely quick ones if they want any hope of taking the victory here tonight. But I think that one is basically long gone at this point. Ten seconds to go, counting it down. Comp gonna try and clear it out one more time. Jay is there in the background as well, just to kind of push it there just a little bit more. One more just for the icing on the cake. Very good series here, and a much better series than what I was expecting from looking at the standings. Virginia, you put up a good fight. But the Saints are the better squad here tonight, anyway. They're going to play around with it for the very end. Virginia has admitted defeats. You've seen good games, of course, in the chat. All teams, very good sports here in this one. Always good to see as we now... Have it official here as the St. Clair Saints are going to take it over the University of Virginia in 3-1 fashion. Goal scored this time by on the side of Virginia. It was, I believe, let's take a look real quick. So it was Andrew who got two and Justin Cap got one as well. Meanwhile, goals on the side of your St. Clair Saints. Four for Comp, one for Spoods plus an assist. Jay getting one goal as well plus an assist. And the most saves in this game. Or Saint side of things goes to Spoods. Meanwhile, Andrew and Justin Cap absolutely clutching it out here for their side to even keep this within close striking distance. So a very solid series, I will admit. It was good to see. And unfortunately there for the University of Virginia, going to find themselves two losses here tonight across C uh, CCA. But that being said, showing us here that they're not some sort of bottom of the barrel team, even though their statistics may say so right now. I definitely expect a mid-season to end of season spike from them in the series. Because of course, gonna take one more quick look. Like that, in theory, it did not look like this team should be fighting as well as they have. They're own two and whatnot. But I would not be surprised to see them in the middle, if not maybe even the, the up, like say the top five of sorts by the end of this season, if they can keep this up. So definitely going to be keeping an eye on that University of Virginia squad. That being said, though, of course, big congratulations to the St. Clair Saints Gold squad for finding themselves another victory, a 2-0 week for them, actually. Beautifully done in their own regards, what we like to see after taking the victory over Sioux College earlier uh, just yesterday. And put themselves in a very good position, to say the least. Now, of course, in regards to additional action coming up this week, we actually have a little bit of a mixed bag as of right now, because let's take a look, actually. Of course, Saturday, it's like, wait, CCA on Saturday? This is the CCA Summer Series Open Division, which means this is going to be where our St. Clair Saints Green Squad is playing. I believe they started off quite nicely in the season opener last weekend. And now looking to keep on pushing through that as well. I think they have a game on Friday as well. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get that one broadcasted for you all here live. But we'll get, pick up the pick up the ball on Saturday and run with it. Then on Sunday, 8 p.m., we do have, of course, the AVGL Summer Series as well. The season finale for that one, of course. Final week of the regular season. And after our St. Clair Saints Gold Squad puts the team that was tied with us in regards to the 5-0 record has absolutely put them to shame took the victory nice and simply gold looking like they're in position to run away with it green doing very solid as well though so we're not sure exactly which of the matches we will get for avgl on sunday but be sure to follow us on twitter so you get the exact details once we know it then in the middle of the week as of right now as I realize my numbers here are absolutely bonkers. Okay, what on earth was I doing here? I promise I wasn't on anything when I made the schedule. But <laughs> we have League of Legends on Tuesday and Wednesday to start things off. It's been a little bit of uh, a little bit of time since we saw some League of Legends action here. And I'm definitely looking forward to it. Of course, new squad lined up for this season as well. 
And that's for the DreamHack Beyond Collegiate Invitational. That won't be on our Saints Gaming CA channel, but when the time comes, if you do come to the St. Clair Saints channel, I will be hosting whichever channel that the matches are on, so you'll be redirected there anyway. So as long as you're followed here, you'll get to the right area, I promise you. Then on Wednesday at 8 p.m., we return with CCA Rocket League action up against Oakland to start the week off, which of course is actually the team at the very bottom right now. So in theory, our Saints should be able to take that one with ease, but you never know, especially since I haven't quite taken a look at Oakland's record or in terms of their scoreboard. I'm actually going to take a look right here right now, actually. They lost to Michigan Tech. They lost to Georgia Tech. Lost to Northwood. Lost to Ohio State. Okay, so a couple of decent squads in there, but having a bit of a hard time in the midfield, it looks like. So an interesting match, nonetheless, here going to be coming up. And make sure, of course, you're followed here on our St. Clair Saints uh, Twitch channel here at Saints Gaming CA so that you get all of the notifications for when our matches do go live. If you do happen to miss the action, A-OK. -okay. Here on our Twitch channel in the past broadcasts or in the highlights, all of the matches are archived as well as our gigantic archive on our YouTube. So you'll always be able to catch the action even if you can't necessarily catch it live. One other interesting piece of news before we do close out for tonight, of course, was that our Saints, uh, we revealed our jersey for 2021, taking a new approach this time by like the darker approach compared to the the white, green, and orange that we've been so accustomed to here in the St. Clair Saints side of things. So be sure to take a look, and you can actually start picking those up on our acquire.ca slash saints shop. So definitely get all decked out for the next season coming up here for the school year. I know personally I got to go find a way to – Snag one for myself as well. I keep any jackets, but the fun fact, I've never had a Saints jersey. So I gotta get I have to get on on board with that, to say the least. That being said, gonna close things out for tonight. Big thank you, of course, for everybody for tuning in. Rocket League has been popping in regards to the support as of late, so I absolutely big thank you to everybody, all the regulars and all the new faces for joining us here and supporting our friends, family members, um, possible teammates, or even if you're just supporting the program and watching some some good Rocket League. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Of course, and our thank you to the sponsors, of course. St. Clair College, Zeckelman, School of Business and Information Technology, Tim Hortons, PC Outlet, St. Clair College Alumni Association, and the St. Clair SRC. Thank you for making this all happen. With that, that'll be it for tonight. Saints are going to be taking this one in 3-0 fashion over the University of Virginia. Well fought, but Saints, better squad tonight. We will see you on Saturday some more Rocket League action in CCA.